All right, so I'm bringing the stove back up. It was like 40 some degrees today. And this morning I only added about half a bucket of anthracite. It was still kind of going. It was still actually putting out heat. And the temperature's coming up on the barrel. Temperature's coming up on the top and on the pipe. And all we're running is a barrel. So for everybody saying about bituminous, we're doing a little video for the bituminous. So right there, that's what she looks like. She's she's angry, is what I'm saying. But before, I used to burn it with just a manual pipe damper, and she'd really get angry. But with the barrel, it's keeping the draft where it needs to be. I've seen some people commenting on some of the posts that uh, say it'll be like a blowtorch and it'll be uncontrollable. That's where you're controlling the main feed air. You need the over the fire air. That's what's burning in there right now is the volatiles and the smoke. We're gonna show you. See that? So I'm just gonna take my little, this is a lot of, I guess what they call uh, slack. Slack coal, because it's fine. I mean, there's some, there's some nuggets in there, but, Oh, I got it in the stove. You see that? She's wet. She was out there under the tarp. And this is what I like using the bituminous for. To bring a fire up. Okay? So we're going to try to intentionally kind of plug some of that off. You see how that chimney right there? That's what these chimneys were designed for. You see that one back there? It's non-existent kind of trying to work. So if you cover up the fire, you still have a way for that gas to get out. And it don't end up underneath and cause you a big back puff. So I've been burning this bit coal longer than I've been burning anthracite. So we'll just poke right down through there and get some oxygen coming up through right through the center then about an hour or two it'll just be a glowing mass and then i'll have to run that bar down through it again but that's how angry she's getting in there not very so i can open the bottom i'm gonna open the bottom a little bit with that barrow you see what happened i'm giving more air under the underneath so kind of like a carburetor <laughs> you mash it you know you're the engine's pulling the air through it so basically i just stepped on the gas pedal and it's pulling the air but the barrow's keeping it under control that that stove's wide open on the on the damper door that barrow's doing what she's doing to keep that balance so now i'm going to close that almost I'm going to open it just a little bit. Now that's going to feed most of the air over the top of the fire and burn those volatiles off. You understanding how this is working? So you're going to start picking right back up again here. So as bituminous, the high sulfur, once that starts to off gas and give off its uh, the volatiles is what that is, it has to burn then you get the stinky stuff now i'm going to pause this and we're going to go right outside real fast that's what's coming out of that the stack with the bituminous yeah it's a little smoky oh uh, anthracite don't do that but it ain't like what uh everybody portrays it as and i'm telling you what it smells like them black snakes on on the fourth of july that you'd light and they'd you know from a little black pill would turn into a snake. That's what that smells like when you give it the right amount over the fire air. So you gotta have a stove that can burn it. So I just walked back in here and that's what it looks like. I mean, yeah, we're running some slack, but I mean, this pile has been sitting at that guy's yard for two years. So it's kind of lost its potency not not too bad it still burns pretty good and you still have a pretty warm fire in the morning if you're using it and you can pick it right back up but what i like to do we'll look in the barrel 
you see how far it is down since the last video with the anthracite the anthracite was about up to the top of that broken block there the the second one down well yeah that's where it was loaded this is down at the third one so what i'll do is i'll just let that get going and i mean she's putting out heat there's no doubt about it and uh once that once that settles down a little bit i'll take the bar and poke down through it again and then it'll pick back up burn off some more volatiles because it's you know it's, it's slack coal it's slack or fines this is run of mine coal is what it is you get some big you get some big goobers like this but then you get a lot of that so that's how they get you on the weight and that's why they sell it for 70 bucks a ton so like a, what i'm getting at here is that goes in get you nice fire going and once that's established switch to the anthracite save you on your anthracite because 70 bucks a ton versus 450 dollars a ton for me uh when it's mild like this i'll run that because this will this will uh go out quicker than that obviously this doesn't have the the long life is the anthracite or the long burn but it does burn a lot longer than any wood i burn so no manual pipe damper so i don't know if that helps anybody so there it is